Hey, good morning, everybody. Hagerman Pass. We are almost 12,000 feet. I'm inclined to take the long way. Why not? That's a beautiful ride. Why would you want to take a shortcut? Cottonwood. Probably the most spectacular view so far. Ten Cup, Colorado. Not having any luck finding a good campsite, though, because there's a bunch of cows in here. <laughs> They're too curious. They'll be at my tent all night waking me up. Hello everyone. It is day three of my adventure and um, I got some good sleep last night. The second night camping is always better than the first. You kind of get used to it the first night and then the second night you're just too tired to worry about getting used to anything. So I am close to Los Pinos Pass, heading to section three on my way to Telluride. So Telluride's good enough for me today because there's a lot of passes. Um, if I get there pretty early, we may try to get on into section two. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. I might catch you on the sunrise here before I take off. So we'll see you soon. Oh. Today, the plan is to start like yesterday and just really enjoy it. I kind of had a panic episode yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't keeping very good track of my miles. And I have got 2,000 some miles to run. And I don't know if I'm going to make it all. So I kind of panic mode and just took off. Little did I know, I was already on Route 4, or I'm sorry, Section 4, and I was fine. <laughs> so I ended up almost completing Section 4. Well, not completing, I think I have about 25, 30 miles left. And <clears throat> I kind of didn't have fun on that section. You know, that last, I don't know, 50 miles I ran. So let's not do that. Today is a new day. They say it takes a couple days to get your sea legs. So I'm ready to swim. Let's have at it. That's a good way to start the day. I'm 10 minutes in. I'm at the top of Los Pinos Pass. A man could get used to waking up to views like this. Okay, I think that is where section three takes off, if I'm not too crazy. And we're gonna go up here and get some gas and then hit it. Lake City, founded 1864. Okay, the gas place is closed. It's no good. Just had an awesome breakfast at Euphoria. And we are headed 
to section three, Colorado VDR. Gonna go over lots of mountain passes today. Really looking forward to this one. All right, here we go. Start of Route 3, Cinnamon Pass. get dizzy here that is whoo that's far <laughs> four-wheel drive recommended let's be getting close to the pass See why it's called Cinnamon Pass. That's kind of the color. And this is the pass. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, old buddy? <laughs> I'm headed down the other side of Cinnamon Pass. And I would say people come up this morning, they go down. Because it's got a lot of peel out spots. When I started this trip, I kept thinking, man, is this the prettiest spot I've been? Is this the prettiest spot I've been? I don't know. You be the judge. This Rocky Mountains are just, I don't know, maybe it's because I live in Ohio. Because I've seen the BDR videos where people go ride to Mid-Atlantic and they're all from out west and they're like, wow, look at this. Trees, different kinds of trees, you know, so maybe, but. I don't know. I sure do think I want to live out here somewhere. There's just more riding opportunities, more camping opportunities, cheaper, you know, and you can just disperse camp everywhere. Yeah, I, I want it.
Okay. Get my footing here because this is dizzying. Woo wee. Where can I park? All right, California Pass. Check this out. This is epic. This is just mind, mind boggling that there's access to a place like this. I am just blown away. I mean, would you just look around? How does a place like this exist? It is nuts. That is straight down a thousand feet. And you got this little ridge. And then that is straight down a thousand feet. Look how far. Oh my goodness. This is this is definitely my favorite so far. It's just it's so extreme. And every, every direction is just something different. Dirt roads everywhere. Gosh. You just cannot beat this. Not good to be riding a motorcycle while busy. <laughs> Twelve thousand seven hundred thirty feet. I would love to get off, but I have got to get to where oxygen is. But here's where we're passing to. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just, <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but wow. Almost looks like one of those sand window things you turn upside down and all the sand falls in different colors. Sometimes you gotta slide the rear end around like a badass.
Woo! <laughs> Dizzy! I see a highway! Well, we made it through the first hard section today. All right, we are here at a, a mine called the Yankee Girl Mine. And it's pretty neat because it was a vertical shaft where they sent crazy miners. I don't know if I should be walking on this. <laughs> Way down. I mean, it's still a big hole there. How in the world? That's nuts. I feel like what I'm doing today is dangerous, but this is just craziness. Very cool. Very cool. Big piece of history. The sign says this is one of the biggest gold and silver producing mines in the area. Just gorgeous. All right. Headed up over here past day three. A little tired. We'll power through. Okay, that's more than I thought. <laughs> At 100 pounds on the back. It goes side to side three or four times before it stops. <laughs> Already got a death grip. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> Holy cow, I got to go down there and ride all across that too. <sighs> I'm already spent. <laughs> Probably should do this at the beginning of the day. Oh. If I can make myself stand up, it's better until it's not. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Ah, a little break. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't help that. The top bag won't let me get back on the bike like I would normally get clear back. The weight off the front end, weight off my hands. Man, you just cannot take your eyes off the prize even for a second. Do not get complacent oh my legs are burning took my eyes off the prize stand up stand up is right get up Okay, 
looking better. Dig it. Oh, wow, I wonder if that's it. You from Ophir, the town? Yeah, could live here. Ophir, 1881. Beautiful river. We're basically just looking for camp like last night, but I'm a lot earlier today. It's not even four o'clock yet. I found the best campsite I've ever seen in my life, but there was an old guy up there and there was probably room for me, but he got there first. I mean, there was even room for me to be pretty far away from him, but there's a whole state of call. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> yeah. Good evening, day three of my Rocky Mountain adventure ride. <laughs> kind of got ahead of myself just following the line on my GPS. So like on the first day, I must have done section four and part of section three of the Colorado BDR. And then today I did the rest of section three, section two, and part of section one. I searched high and low for this campsite tonight, and it is a doozy. So the sun's kind of setting on the hill across the way. So I'm just going to flip this camera around and let you check it out. How about that? Woo! Just opened my tent in the morning. And just beautiful mountains. And then beautiful pine trees. I just took some rocks from over there. Put them right there. I found some wood over there from a long time ago that someone had um, cut and left. So it really wasn't that bad. And I am going to just sit here and enjoy the sunset and relax. And we'll catch you all in the morning. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was one of the uh, best days of the trip with all the scenery. A couple parts were kind of tricky, but... Uh, I loved it. So I hope you enjoyed it and found a few things that were handy. Um, if you uh, want to see future videos, be sure to subscribe below, uh, make a comment, share all you want. Check out all of Viney's music on the Spotify and Apple links. And we will catch you on uh, episode four coming up real soon.